Hey, thanks so much for the question. Let's try to uh, take away some of the mysteriousness around the nitrogen cycle for you. So there's two different types of nitrogen cycles, and this is why things get so complicated and you're seeing convoluted answers on the internet. There's a fish in nitrogen cycle and a fish less nitrogen cycle, and it is what it sounds like. One has fish in the tank, one doesn't. And the problem is when you're doing a fish in nitrogen cycle, you have to keep the ammonia level below 0.25. Otherwise, it's harmful to the fish. It'll burn their gills. They'll end up with ammonia burns and things like that. Even 0.25 can still affect the fish negatively, which is why I don't like to do fish in nitrogen cycles. But in the event that the ammonia goes above 0.25 and you're not doing anything to detoxify the ammonia, like adding Seachem Prime or some of the other uh, ammonia detoxification products that are on the market out there, if you're not doing that, you have to do water changes to keep that ammonia down at the level where it's not that harmful to the fish. Make no mistake, it is still harmful, but it's not that harmful. That's why people use hardy fish for a fish in cycle because they can survive the damage that's caused by the ammonia that's in the water during the cycling process. These days, there's no reason for us to do that anymore. It's just not needed. So we can do a fishless nitrogen cycle. And sorry about my cat, she wants to go outside. So during a fishless nitrogen cycle, it's a totally different scenario. You can set the ammonia up at like two parts per million, way higher than you could with a fish. But if the ammonia or the nitrites ever go above five parts per million, which does happen quite often, then the bacteria responsible for the conversion of ammonia to nitrites to nitrates, they go dormant over five ppm. They're like, I don't like this. I'm going to sleep till there's a better scenario. So once they do that, your nitrogen cycle stalls and you have to do a water change to bring the level of nitrates, or excuse me, nitrites or ammonia back down below 5 ppm. The bacteria will wake back up and everything will kick back off and get going again. So when people say don't do water changes during the nitrogen cycle, it's simply because they don't understand it enough to know that there are times when water changes are needed. But just doing a water change during the nitrogen cycle is absolutely not advised. I don't recommend that you just do them for no reason. There are reasons to do them, and if you want to dig more deeply into it, check out my Tube of You channel. I have multiple videos on the nitrogen cycle over there. Links in the bio. Thanks.